I'm currently frantically trying to get ready because I can't find this We have to pop by the job today um, just to drop off a paper because normally in the mornings when we leave work, um, where you drop that paper off is not open. And so um, we just have to find some time to like go by there to drop it off. So we decided that we're going to go today, which honestly at this point, maybe yesterday would have been a better day to go. I changed my hair. I put this one on and I have it in like a little braid in the back. We're gonna keep the braid. Yeah, we'll keep the braid. Anyways, but I'm hurrying to literally jump into some clothes. Um, the easiest thing is really just leggings and, um, and a shirt. And also, I think when we're coming back, I'm going to the nail salon. <laughs> She just called me and I had to jump up quickly, run to the bathroom. Damn. Yeah? Hello. Come down in two minutes. All right. She said, come down in two damn minutes. I don't even have a lick of lotion on my hands. <laughs> you guys, oh God. I need to find a pair of socks. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Oh. This is pissing me off. A pair of socks. I'm going to slip on the Harachis really quickly, even though they are the one pair of shoes that I have that are hardest shit to put on. Oh my God. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm about to break my fingers trying to do this shit. <sighs> Done. Luckily, I already had the clothes out. So, um, I really should have wore slides, but like, whatever. I already had the clothes out. Let me see what the temperature is 75 degrees. There's no way I need a jacket. I had one, but we need to get some perfume. Body spot. Quickly. Do I have Carmex in here? I have some lotion on my hands. Why is it not rubbing out? <laughs> Damn, that gotta be her. Just like that, we wrapped up a successful trip to the job and to the nail salon. Y'all not really seeing, but like, whatever, I don't know. Anyways, I went and repaired my nails, went to my job to drop off a paper that they literally just copied and gave me a copy of, but I had to drop it off a human resource and Human resource is not open until 9 a.m. That time you're already home sleeping and everything. Like, can't nobody be bothered to wait. So, we chose to go do that today. So that was great. Gotta hang up this jacket. I left this in the car, but obviously it's summer now. So we gotta hang these things back up. Every time I open this closet, it makes me anxious. <laughs> it's closet is gonna be the death of me. Oh, I can't even. So now I just need to unpack the load of purse and um, go to sleep for work later. Because I haven't slept all day. So it might not be that heavy after all, but whatever it is right now, I don't really care. I just need to go to sleep right now so that I can be a productive, functioning member of society tonight at work.
my friend and I were just talking about how much it's nice not being on the day shift anymore. Let's see if you guys can see my butt in the mirror. No. How much it's nice not being on the day shift anymore because you're able to get so many things done. Like, you know, we went to the job and we went really early. We went to the nail salon. You know what I mean? Like those things you would have to leave for your designated days off. Now... You can do it one of the day. Even though when I was working the day shift, I, I wouldn't necessarily leave it for designated days off. I would just do it like one evening after work and stuff like that. But then I left work at three o'clock. So that just took up the time in the afternoon and it was just a crap show. So now we're able to like, you could come home in the morning, do it. You still have all day, whatever. Oh, that's serious. Anyways, like I said, successful day on the road. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm at work on break. I feel like I'm trapped in the 1900s or something. The lighting is bad and I'm not turning on the overhead light. But I'm having some Dunkin'. I just went and bought and um, I have about an hour left on my break. I don't feel sleepy, but I may just put my head down a little bit because I'm on one-to-one -one and the sleep normally comes eventually. Literally just got home from work. I'm about to change. I really want to um, pick up the damn package downstairs, but like, I'm so tired of texting the lady all the time telling her. She must be tired of my ass. What about this stupid ass package that I be forgetting to. She does work the 18th. That we're planning, we're plotting, hold on. I want to buy a cake, but obviously we go to work together, so she's going to see the cake. Can I send you the money for you to buy it so we can like have a load of cake for her at work? <sighs> okay, we're gonna see how that works. She's such a gem. So I'm trying to change and like eat something. I want to go to sleep, but I want to eat before I go to sleep because I'd be waking up feeling like <clears throat> I didn't eat in days and days and days and I really hate that feeling. What's on my pants? And I really hate that feeling. So I'm trying to eat before I go to sleep. The outside was so cool. Oh, everything. Anyways, I'm gonna see what I can find in the kitchen to eat really quickly. Hop in the shower. The weather's so nice, I should go on a walk. But also I don't wanna feel like shit all day to be completely honest because I have not gone on a walk in a long time. And the last time I did walk a good bit, I felt like I was gonna die. I'm exaggerating, but. I felt bad is what I'm saying. So, hmm. Hmm. I'm sitting down waiting to leave and I feel so drained. I'm like so tired. But it's that dream and tired where it feels like you slept too much. So I'm like whatever, I really hope that the little bit of energy kicks in soon. Because I've been sleeping since like 2 o'clock. To like eight so that's a good stretch of sleep six hours so that should be good but i'm ready to go to work i just have to go buy some subway because i left meat in the fridge but man ate all the meat and just left the container in the fridge so i have to walk outside and like buy some subway really quickly didn't feel like eating that but i had to eat something before i leave so i have the other half in my bag to eat when I get break at work. I don't know if I'm gonna eat that tonight though, but I also bought some macadamia nut cookies, so maybe we're gonna just vibe out with the cookies and that be it, but I'm headed to work. I think I'm gonna wrap up this weekly vlog here too because um, tomorrow's Sunday, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next video.